pledge. I want to welcome everyone to this uh, special meeting, July 23rd, 2018. Um, just want to quickly apologize. I had a little brain freeze there. One of those senior moments. I was getting ready to do the pledge, and I almost started praying. <laughs> uh, I caught myself there for a minute, so uh, that was the why for the, the pause. Uh, we're going to throw this to the um, administrator, Mr. Hammond. He's going to drive this train. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this will be our, our first budget meeting. Uh, we Staff has been working on the budget since March, so this is a culmination of those efforts. And I think the clerk would like to say some introductions before we get going okay yes ma'am miss clerk thank you um commissioners uh, you have before you your initial proposed budget that was given to you on the 17th of this month and this represents the initial request or and or obligations of the county agencies and departments as well as the um, constitutional officers as, as we've done in the past, outside agencies have been um, entered in at the 17-18 fiscal year amounts and do not reflect any um, requested increases. Uh, these agencies have requested increases and a list has been provided to you this morning um, at your seats. The initial budget stands at a proposed millage rate of 7.4921 as compared to the current year of 7.2442. Um, I'd also like to um, just state on that, you, know, you have a um, increased millage rate. A portion of this uh, can be attributed to the final adoption of the budget last year. It was adopted at the uh, assessed values at the time as certified by the property appraiser. When the final taxable values came in, they had a reduction um, resulting in a, about $115,000 loss um, in your proposed uh, ad valorem tax assessment um, or total dollar amounts. So you kind of start out, out in the hole a little bit. Um, the law require, or allows you to make an administrative adjustment as a board if that um, change um, from the initial to the, the final is uh, 1%. Uh, you were right at it. It was a 0.98% reduction. So you didn't get to change it, but um, you do start off with a um, less than what you had hoped for. And that's all I have. I can turn it back over to Mr. Hammond. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if we, we could, we could start with the constitutional officers. Yes, sir. All right. Don't, don't all rush up here at one time. We want to go first. Come on up. Commissioners, um, Dennis Barford with the property appraiser's office. Mr. Page, Burke's out of town. Page 14 in your book. Um, it, there are a few budget line increases that we're requesting. Uh, if you look, uh, well, actually, you don't have the same breakdown. It does. I should bring it, brought you. But in, involved in that uh, increase is uh, the 3% pay increase that we were asked to put in there. Uh, we have 19750 for a new server for our system. We have to replace that about every five years. Uh, we split that cost 50% with the tax collector. So uh, 19750 that's actually half the cost of that server. Uh, that helps yeah. to run our whole assessment system. Um, and then the last item we have is a GIS position. Uh, we have a uh, gentleman, Dan Christie, who's been with the office for 36 years. He'll be retiring, and we'd like to bring somebody in over the next year to cross-train uh, where we're not caught, you know, flat-footed when the retirement happens. Thanks, sir. That's that's all. That's it. <clears throat> okay. 
Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Supervisor Lexington's budget on page 18. Commissioners? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if you will look at the budget, we are asking for a slight increase of $23,143. That is primarily we have a new line item in the budget this year, uh, $15,000 for cybersecurity, uh, just to enhance voting integrity. The remainder of that is primarily um, maintenance um, increases for the new precinct and equipment. And that's really, that, that's really the increase right there. All right, thank you, sir. Shirley's on page 15. Good morning, Miss Shirley. Good morning. Good morning. I have a um, part-time employee that we were pulling over to be a full-time employee to work between TDC and property taxes. Um, and that was a $20,000 increase, the 3% increase in there, and also the... Um, sharing the server with the property appraiser. All right, thank you, ma'am. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. Chris Good morning. Buchanan, Chief Deputy of the Gulf County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Mike Harrison is in training uh, this week, so I'll be here in his, in his absence. Um, I believe one of our, our major increases or requests that we have then, you'll notice for sheriff operations for uh, IT uh, for seventy nine thousand nine hundred and fifty six dollars. Uh, we are looking to contract a IT company. Uh, actually, have uh, moved forward with that, with our increase of uh, computers in the field and the patrol cars increase and in, in changes in, in our CAD system and so forth. We find that there's been a lot of time and effort on having to work on our computers to keep those things up and operational. Uh, the other increase you'll notice is a large increase for the schools. Um, those monies are coming in as contracted through the Gulf County School Board for the safe schools. Uh, that show the increase of uh, $222,759 that will um, provide the additional school resource officers in our schools uh, this for this school year. There may be some things, Mr. Hammond, I don't know if you might would be better to explain it. It looks like there were some changes, I guess, some, on moving some funds around to our, our build and move and so forth. Sherry can give you the the, the actual uh, change to the budget was about two hundred eighty thousand request increase. The rest are transfers in from a, a better accounting uh, for the outside contracts that were moved from the school board and I think the city of Port St. Joe. But Sherry might have some more information on that. Um, yes, uh, the line items. Basically, with the exception of the communications and utilities repair and maintenance and other charges um, all the other increases are per the uh, sheriff's request the vehicles there's an increase request there um, for a SRO vehicle uh, the IT increase um, and then the just general operations increase um, as well as the insurance and the payouts were increased, included in those requests. Uh, as Chris stated, the um, law enforcement services increase of 222, uh, that is offset by revenue, so that's accounted for up in the revenue section. But the other increases um, uh, that have sheriff in the description um, are coming from their request, as well as the life insurance. The others are for the new building utilities cost. Ms. Herring, based on the, I believe the CAD and RMS line item is the, the increase for that is the maintenance that we're having to, to pay uh, beginning this year in addition to the Yes, the that's payment. correct. This is the first year of the uh, maintenance being due. Um, so it has the five year, uh, uh, an annual payment for the system and then uh, one year of maintenance. Yes, for the 39. Um, the 15, sorry, the $15,000 increase. 
and the and the lead payouts at the bottom uh, you'll notice uh, that is an estimated leave payout uh, we took that figure for employees that are eligible to retire uh, this year we haven't received any notices from those employees but this is a, a, a just in case okay. um, we have to pay those funds out for the leave to accrued leave time and so forth appreciate it. thank Thanks. you sir Handles the constitutional officers, we can, we can, uh, oh, I'll, I'm sorry. Um, I, I'm the clear. clerk doesn't have an increase. I had some, um, one line item that shifted from your budget to mine in the amount of $6,000, but I have no increase in my budget this year. At the pleasure of the board, we can go down line item by line item if you would like. I've got just a couple of, uh, things that I wanted to point out on the in order to get back to the current millage rate we have to cut a pretty good little chunk we, we can do it we do it every year but we have to cut 409 409,000 to get back to the 7.2442 several of you have given me the direction that you want a reduction this year so we'll have to get a little deeper to to get a reduction included in the budget <coughs> uh, is a 3% across the board uh, pay increase for the constitutional officers and all the county employees. Also a new building inspector, new code enforcement officer. Uh, of course, we agreed <coughs> earlier in the year to, to take over with a transition from the clerk's office for a new budget officer. So all of those are, are new into the budget this year. We can just go through. Uh, pages or anything. We'll start on page 10. Page 10. Actually, we won't. We'll start on page 11. 11 is a summary uh, of all the different funds. Sherry, if you want to stop me at any time as we go through, we can just look at the individual increases. Just uh, highlight. This is for the general fund, just to highlight. Uh, the county commissioner's budget went up 0.29%. Just some adjustments in retirement contributions went down. Few, few line items went up. The county administrator went up 28 percent. That is uh, adjusting out with Mr. Butler's retirement and Mr. Yeager coming on on admin side. No new employee change. Clerk to the board, as was said, it went down five percent. We'll skip the other constitutional officers. Risk management, slight increase of 1.3 percent. Insurance department. Went up 6.3 percent. Most of these are estimates. I don't know if we have the final numbers, but this is mainly workers' comp. Insurance. Insurance. Yes, most of that um, increase is for uh, uh, changes throughout this year that we need to account for uh, with the new building um, and new purchases. Those type things, making sure that everything's covered. Basically, we started with uh, the current actual premiums, and then we, of course, have to make an estimate for workers' comp. In that case, it is what it is. It is a large number, 249000 just for workers' comp. Other insurances, uh, property casualty liability, 383000 just for your property casualty insurance for the all the county buildings, mainly the courthouse complex. No change in the value adjustment board on page 16. Uh, audit services are going up 5,000, but I think they're offset. You remind me where we're at there. Um, we are going up 5,000 in general fund, but uh, additional costs are also paid by uh, other allowable sources for uh, audit needs. Um, so. This is part of the cost. The cost is actually higher, um, but general funds only increasing by the five thousand. We were able to offset uh, the other cost. The positive is it's about twenty-five thousand less than what it was eight years ago. So we're still way better than we were. Uh, the next budget, I, as I told you before, we, this is a new budget. This is the Office of Management budget, so it's just totally new money. 
some of that is offset by the shift from the clerk to the board. On the attorney, some adjustments there, 8% increase, mainly just getting in line with the actuals. Planning and zoning, new employee in this budget. Uh, also a, a shift we had combined last year, building and planning. We've uncombined them this year in the budget. So some of this is, is just transfers. It's not new money, but there is a new employee in this budget. GIS department, this is this is something that uh, Marshall's been trying to get rid of for a couple of years, but uh, when the downturn happened in order to keep the GIS department, uh, Marshall's budget took on GIS. This is being transferred back to the board, back to Avalon for half of that budget. So that's a $23,609 increase. IT, a uh, small increase. Main thing there is a leased vehicle, 4.6% <coughs> increase. Page 19, small decrease in the courthouse complex utilities. S still a $300,000 budget. The uh, part of this is the sheriff's office moving and we transferred money from one line to the, no to the next. No change in county services. Sheriff, our coordinator, a thousand dollar increase. County jail, a 1.1 percent increase. Pretty much all pay raise related. There's some adjustments that actually went down. Uh, <coughs> county probation, a 1.3 percent increase. That's again adjustments and the three percent pay raise. Building department has a 15% increase, and again, we're adding a code enforcement officer slash a building inspector. Uh, I will note that most of that department is fee generated. Let me include all the things because we don't charge rent and for the vehicles and whatnot, but for the most part, this is a standalone fee generated budget. Um, the next one's emergency management. Uh, it's grant funded, zero change, net, move some things around, but again, that was moving Jessica's funding, half of that funding back to the general fund, that was the change. 2.1% increase in the 1250 surcharge money, that's generated by income, it's what it is from uh, moving violations. Honeyville Shelter. Small increase of $72. EMS, a 1.4% increase. That's mainly pay raises. No change in search and rescue. No change in the medical examiner contract. I'm not aware if we've gotten an updated uh, request from them. From the medical examiner? Yes. Um, we received a, I don't know if it was preliminary or not, but we did receive something from them. Extension office, a uh, quarter of a percent increase. Small increase, and this was a request, but we included it uh, on the conservation resource management. It was a $500 increase. Fourteen percent increase in beach maintenance. No change to the coordinated transportation budget to zero. The DRA, the county's uh, commitment or requirement to pay, went up pretty substantially. It's 15.45% increase uh, for a total of 193189 EDC, a slight decrease, about a half a percent. Veteran Service Office, and this was s some moving salaries and whatnot. More, there's no new employees, but it's a 30% increase, 16,000. Animal Control, a 5.8% increase. 
no change with the Humane Society. He's funded flat at 48600 No change for the no change for the health department, zero percent. ICRA went down just slightly, but not enough to change the percentage. It went down $288. No change in mental health services, Baker <laughs> Act, or aid to Guff County ARC. That combined budget is $26,999. Commodity program, no change. Now, this is one I'll, I'll point out. Aid to senior citizens is, is 43735 That's the exact number as it was last year. As the clerk had alluded to, you have a, a printout of outside agencies that made requests that are not included in the budget. So if you want to add or address any of those that, that came in, uh, they will make your number worse, but it's, it's the time to address them if, if you would like to. next one, same thing, the library, we funded them at the adjusted rate from last year. You had, you had given them an, an additional amount of money at the last budget hearing. We added that to their original re request from last year. <coughs> and that's what we wound up net funding them last year was $102,720. That's Avalon money. That's not the total amount because they get grant funds in addition to that, but that's what the county taxpayer is putting in. They have made an additional request that's on that outside sheet. Parks and Recreation, it's an increase of 7.5%. It's basically the original budget last year before the board voted to take money from that fund to fund some additional monies to the library. So we made that, even that back up out at $5,000 per district. Dead Lakes. Went up 1.65%. Uh, it's 100% paid for by user fees at the Dead Lakes Park. No change in the voting improvement grant. Pretty good increase in court administration, local funding, state attorney, local funding. Uh, public defender went. All, up, all of those are up over 100%, and that's one of the items that we had uh, to talk to the chief judge. They, they, they have several pots of money that they can pull from. Uh, they, if they don't pull from one of their, one of their side pots, then the taxpayers are going to be on the hook for this. Sure. Um, just uh, one thing that has changed in the uh, local funding for those uh, three Court administration, state attorney, and public defender is costing out the Mediacom billing for the VoIP system. Their requests don't include that. So those requests from those agencies were minor, but it's uh, the board cost in, in costing that out to those departments. That is the majority of those increases on the local funding. And so that part wasn't actually part of their request. We're on the hook to pay for communications for the court system, so it, it's one of those things. It is what it is. So, but th that's a true total cost of what what that budget is. Court technology. This was to upgrade the polycom system. I believe this was a request. This is something that that, and we're going to ask the chief judge for for them to pay out of their technology money, not out of our tax funds so clerk has agreed to make that phone call I think so that's and again the next do the same thing court technology funds fine and forfeiture used to be a big budget since everything's been pretty much uh, moved out of that there's really nothing that affects the Avalon tax line bottom line No Avalon in finding poultry anymore, is there? We'll skip that. Secretary Road Bridge, uh, we're not funding any of the public works budget out of Secretary Road Bridge this year is the plan. Uh, during the lean times, we had to do that. We're allowed to spend a percentage of the ninth cent uh, on 
Road Department of Public Works, but this year we're we're not doing that. No real change in mosquito control that affects it's grant funded public works. Uh, other than the sheriff, this is the biggest budget in the county. It uh, went up 2.35 percent. Pay raises is what, other than some shifts. Except quite a few. Fire, your dependent fire control districts start on page 44. St. Joe Fire Control had a pretty good increase this year. Uh, net of new money of 52838 Tupelo only had a $794 increase. Uh, Over Street and Howard Creek both went down. Over Street just a little over 1000 and Howard Creek $374. Page 57 is, is an overview of the grant fund. I skipped ship, but that, again, does not affect the, uh, the Avalon tax. Got quite a number of grants uh, this year. Of course, normal ones, emergency management preparedness. <coughs> TIGP road paving grant for 600000 uh, Scott project for three three point two million. Some trip funding. We'll be making adjustments to those throughout the year. We have a couple of, of big projects that are that are going out to bid. Hopefully, at tomorrow's meeting. CDBG fund stable on page sixty one. Industrial park fund. Page 62, a reduction of 18,000. What, what did we pay out of this just recently? I'm sorry. What did we pay out of this fund just recently? Uh, the 50% uh, cost share uh, with road. St. Joe Company for the Mill Road was the majority of that reduction. It was offset by um, <gasps> the revenue on the current lease. Um, Cherokee Air is renting the building, has been since November of last year, so we finally have revenue coming in. When the Port Authority makes payments, are we putting it back in this fund? It's or? first going to fund um, 115. Okay. Once that's paid, then it would go to fund 117. Page 63, BP and Restore Act funding. This May change as of tomorrow, but we'll find out later today. Right now, 2.8 million for beach renourishment. Uh, page 64 is is again beach renourishment. That's the two funds: the the voted MSTU and the county uh, funded bond or county backed bond. Fund 123 on page 65 is a new fund. This is, for lack of a better word, our sand money on the Honeyville track. It's zeroed out, but given direction from the board later today at our next meeting, we will have some numbers in this fund. Hospital fund, a good increase, 5.2%. This is the trust fund. Asset sales tax to fund Sacred Heart. <coughs> Nothing on 125. The disaster fund went down just slightly. That was for costs related to natural disasters. TDC, good increase, 14.8% on page 70. Sherry will tell you all the pennies look good except the beach penny. <laughs> so. Public improvement, 74. This is almost zeroed out. Uh, this is this is uh, paying your bonds for, for your road bonds. And on page 75, it's the MSTU fund. 
1976. This is the board back to non avalorum budget and appropriate fund. Capital projects fund on page 77. This is one of the better things that we've been able to do since the recovery is get back on a regular expensing of things we buy every year, work crew vans, lawn mowers, ambulances, vehicles at public works and equipment, and we're trying to, to have a level uh, funding amount for that. We were able to achieve that this year again. No real big ticket items this year. A van for the jail is, is a new add-on. The others are pretty standard. We're buying two public works this year. One van, and we're buying trailers and, and farm mowers. So. All right, so we'll take questions and direction from the board. Okay, appreciate that, sir. All right, uh, board members, um, anybody got anything you want to add? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, go ahead, Mr. Chairman. Hey, we serve on the budget committee, and I want to commend you and your staff. Job well done here. Uh, Mr. Attorney, I'm, I ask, I don't know if you want this in the form of a motion, Mr. Chairman, but uh, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Administrator, go back over this budget. Present us with a balanced budget, lowest possible millage rate. Let's take a lot of the bells and whistles out. Let's leave the luxuries, go with the necessities. Got to keep the taxpayer in mind here. So could you do that, Mr. Attorney? Do we need a motion for that? All right, sir, Mr. Chairman, if I'm in order, I'll place that motion that the uh, administrator and the budget committee go back, bring us back a balanced budget, lowest possible millage rate. That's my motion. All right, so I got Second for discussion. Also, I got a motion by Commissioner McDaniel. All right, second by Commissioner have, McCrone. Have Go you ahead. got a number, Commissioner, on the rollback? Have you got a number in mind? I would, uh, I don't know if we get there. I don't want to cut too deep, but I, I would like a, a small one, maybe a 7.10. I think you might could work to that number with 7.24 now. But I know we, you don't want to, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to go way down, and next you have to go up. People don't remember the going down, but they remember the going up. So if we could, and we're, we're slowly recovering, we're slowly getting some of our reserve funds back up, and that's what our goal is. So I don't know, Mr. Hammond, uh, uh, if you can do, if you shoot for that. In rough. If you can come down lower, that would even be better. In, in rough math, we have to cut 409,000 to get uh -huh. to the current millage rate. To get to 7.1 is going to be in roughly 650,000. My math is right, Sherry. About, yeah, on that, that, that's about close. Close, 150,000 to about. Um, it would be 647, 446 uh, is 95% of the reduction. That would All be. right. My second stands. All right, any any uh, other board members on on the, um, on this motion? Rogers, you got anything you want? Rich, anything you want to add? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it can still go lower, but if we do decide after the administrator and the staff brings it back and says. Once we cap it, it can't increase. It can always go down. But we're just trying to find some middle ground here. All right. All right. So I got a motion by Commissioner McDaniel, second by Commissioner McCrone. It says second is standing. Uh, any further board discussion? Any other board discussion? Uh, anybody in the audience on this? Anybody in the audience? All right. Uh, any opposition to the motion? Motion passes 5 and 0 to bring us back a new budget.
couple more items. Uh, if there's anything else that commissioners want to add, now's the time to do it. <clears throat> if you would like to look at that sheet and see if you want to do anything uh, on that, I'm not recommending that you do, but if you want to add it to the budget, it's now is the time. Okay. Uh, any uh, commissioners got anything? You uh, you need that? Go ahead, Commissioner Ross. Chairman, I, yes. Um, I had asked for some money for Beacon Hill Park, going to come out of the new um, one twenty three fund, and uh, I would. Uh, we need uh, fifty more thousand dollars to meet what we had agreed to give that. Park out there for the veterans. So. Okay, you don't need no motion then on that. Then. Direction the board will put it in. We, uh, clerks helped us put this together, and and she will balance the, the revenues with that expenditure. Have you got? A, we got a projection on that number, Michael, on the one twenty three fund. I th I think we're going to leave it small, but but I'm meeting with the engineer this afternoon. I I think it's easily going to be twice that amount. Okay. Um, just a quick question about um, uh, the historical society. I, 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 that's something I need. To, I need to talk about that today or tomorrow. I, I got an email uh, from Miss Pierce early this morning. I just okay. was tied up, so I haven't reviewed it. But but uh, we can make that change if I can get you the information. We can make it at the at the next meeting because it's not going to affect the Avalon side. Okay, so that's good. You, if you you want to talk about it or or we'll discuss it tomorrow. Then that's fine. Very good. Any other commissioners? Now's the time. Carl? Good. Mr. Rich? Good. good. All right. At your direction, I will get with Sherry and the clerk, and, and we will try to round off as many of those numbers as we can. I know that a lot of odd numbers because of reductions in the bad years were percentage amounts, so they just got cut percentage-wise. But you have virtually no s solid numbers. They're all odd, so that, that'll make it easier to read and easier to balance. We need uh, to set some dates for your next hearing. Okay. Uh, we, we have to certify the millage next week. Uh, get, well, by the, by the third. What what day did we say Tuesday? Next Tuesday. Is that good for y'all to have the... the What's next <laughs> next Tuesday's D what? Twenty ninth. Thirty first. Thirty first. Time you want Friday's the last that day that we could do it, so uh I would say ten o'clock. Oh, oh, you said the, hold on th the thirty first. Ten o'clock Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Hold on, don't set that yet, just yet. I'm okay. th I'm yeah. well, you need 'cause you need all the board members here, right? Yes, sir. We we can we can do it as late as Friday. That's the latest date we can do it. Preferably not. <laughs> yeah, I think I gotta. I think I gotta be in class on Tuesday, thirty first. For sure, mm -hmm. I got. I gotta we'll do it on that. Thursday. I mean, that's, I'm fine as long, long as we got. Because I know I got to be on. And I gotta be there on Tuesday. Hey, Mr. Chairman, we Thursday. work it around you. So Thursday. Th Thursday, y'all fine with Thursday? Oh, that's fine with me. What date is that now? Thursday. Sorry. Second. Thursday second. Who? Second. second. August the second. second. Hold on, I, I I hate to do this, but let's 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 recess for about five minutes. I I think I got some on the second too. Give okay. me about five minutes to check. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. I think I got about five minutes. Let me sure. Check. Hey, you want to do it on that Monday? You're having a lot of work in there. You want to do it on that Monday? I'm good. I'm good with the first. That's good. And we'll right. set your your final uh, budget hearing for that date, and you will have to set a millage rate at that day. Can't go down. That's at ten o'clock. Is that correct, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Ten o'clock. Tentative. It August. go down after that, but it cannot go up. Not go right. up. It's August first, ten a.m. And the clerk will certify before five o'clock on Friday to the property appraiser as required by law. Now. We also need to set the dates for our uh, trim notice meetings in September because the cities can't set theirs until we set ours. The school board has already set their dates, so Sherry has some
proposed dates for you. Um, we think. We think. <laughs> I believe the earliest possible date um, would be September the 4th. That is on a Tuesday. Um, and whatever you decide for the first date is what determines the next date. So if you went with the 4th, then the, for the tentative hearing, uh, then the final hearing would uh, could be September 20th, which is a Thursday. And they have to be very specific. We can't, the school board gets to go first. They've already chosen their dates. They also is a, a minimum and a maximum number of days between those two meetings that have to be advertised. So that's why we, it's also extremely important that all commissioners attend. The clerk does not want to have a rehash <coughs> of what we had five or six years ago where we were here very late because we couldn't get a vote on the 2-2 vote. So the uh, board is good with those dates. We will notify the property appraiser in the cities. Fourth and the what? 28th. 28th. They have to Tuesday, be the the Tuesday, September the 4th, and Thursday, September 20th. And they have to be at 501. Um, they have to be after, to be after 5, 5 o'clock. Yep. So 501. That's good we, if we could get a motion to that effect. Okay. I entertain a motion. So moved, Mr. Chairman. All right. A motion by Commissioner Rogers, second by Commissioner Rich. Any uh, further board discussion on this? Anyone in the audience on this? Any dates? All right. Any opposition to the motion? All right. Motion passes 5 and 0. Just want to thank the clerk and her staff, especially Sherry. The hundreds and hundreds of hours of work that went into this. We went through it pretty quickly this morning, but uh, you got a good product. I appreciate their help. Sir, thank you all. Thank you all. All right, that's, that's it. I appreciate everyone coming out. Motion uh, to adjourn. Yes, sir. Second.